So one of my favorite types of photography is night photography and there's quite a bit of skill but also a lot of experimentation that comes with this. So let's say it's a pitch black night and you can't even see what you're trying to take a photo of but you know that there's something there. There's a couple things you'll need. First thing is a tripod or some sort of stabilization where you can click that photo button and not move the camera at all because the second you move the camera is when you get blur and you don't get a clean image which again you know do do what you want to do but for me to get that clean image I like a tripod. Second thing you need to do is have a long exposure meaning have your shutter be closer to one second exposure or 10 second exposure even 30 second exposure is something I find myself doing constantly. The next thing you have to know what you're taking the image of. If there are lights in your photo, then you're actually maybe going to need to, you know, close down your iris. Maybe go to f22 so that as you do that long exposure, there's not too much light coming in your lens. And ultimately, you have to test. Even in the moment of taking the photo you want to take, you should just try a 30 second exposure at f5.6 with an ISO 400. And if it's really bright, which sometimes it will be, which is sort of surprising because it'll be pitch black outside, um, you then know, oh, I should go to ISO you know, 100 and maybe 30 second exposure is too long. Maybe try 20 second exposure. But what you're able to do with this is, well, A, see the stars, which I love. B, all car lights, any moving lights, airplane lights will become streaks of light covering your entire image. And lastly, any people moving will become very blurred or water moving will become sort of this blurred effect and it, it can look really nice and it's something to to experiment with. Another key element to this though is if you can't see what you're taking a photo of through your viewfinder you'll need to take that photo to know what your frame is. A few things that I typically watch out for are where cars are because a lot of times cars actually had really cool streaks but if you do it for only a second, you'll have a small streak. If you do it for five seconds, you'll have a long streak. If you do it for 30 seconds, maybe you'll have a few cars passing and you'll get different colors of streaks, which are really cool in my mind. The other cool thing you can do is look at the stars and really expose for the stars, try and bring them out a little bit more, but also be wary that if you have city lights in your image, those will affect you because they're a lot brighter than the stars are. All I can say for this is go experiment, go see what's possible, and be sure to bring some friends, maybe some hot chocolate, a warm jacket, because a lot of times it gets cold at night and you'll find yourself doing this for a few hours. I know that I do and um, enjoy.